Today, we'll be taking a look at some backend options for your iOS application. Hi, I'm Alex, the architect for back app and this is Talking to the Architect. When you have an iOS application, there are a few options of backend that you can use, and I'm going to show you three today. The first one is the hugely popular Firebase. Firebase is created and is maintained by Google, and they have an iOS SDK that you can download and integrate to your projects and start using their resources. And it's really good, a good service. The only problem with Firebase is that it is quite unpredictable in terms of pricing. When you leave their free plan and go to a paid plan, it's almost impossible to know beforehand how much you're going to spend because they have this complex uh, pricing strategy. Then we have Apple's CloudKit. CloudKit is part of Apple's iCloud and is very easy for, and familiar for iOS developers because it integrates automatically with Xcode. So all you have to do is to add the CloudKit capability to your project and start using it. The problem with CloudKit is that it's not very compatible with other services and is quite pricey as most Apple services. Then we have Back for App. Back for App is very, very easy to use. We have SDKs for iOS, uh, both Objective C projects and Swift projects, integrates with lots of services and have very, very predictable pricing once you, you leave your our free plans because we have fixed price uh, uh, for plans and a pay-as-you-go plan, so it's very easy to predict over time how much your application is going to cost you at the end of the day. If you found this video helpful, please click the like button and consider subscribing to the channel. Also, share this video with a friend and they can learn something too. If you're already subscribed, thank you for that. And if you have any questions, suggestions or comments, please leave on the comment sections down below. We always answer all the comments. Thank you, so, thank you for watching. See you soon. Bye-bye.